So for the last year and a half, I've been experimenting, sleeping out in the wild with the historical equipment of a Highlander. And every time I go out, you know, I'm always learning something new and trying to optimize the equipment. So in this video, I'm going to spend another night out in the wild and uh, I'm going to try out a bedroll shelter sleeping system I've been working on and uh, also trying out a few other bits of historical clothing. So uh, let's see what happens. Very midgy. Midges are really bad. It's like deafening the noise of them in my ears. <laughs> it's certainly a test. Ooh. These midges are making a challenging working environment. Get a fire going, see if we can drive them away. Ooh. Our tinder bundle have got dry grass, a little bit of fluff from cattail, cattail sea tides. So put that in there. Some charred punk wood. Hopefully that's going to extend our 
our ember. So for tinder I'm using processed horseshoe fungus, uh, which is called spongin in Gaelic. And this was a common way to start fires in the highlands as well as all around the world for thousands of years. Gonna put some in here and see if we can get it going. There's bloody midges at my way. Bad. Okay, it's got a bit crushed. Well. Whiskey will cheer me up. So it was a, a very clear night last night. Um, so it was quite cold. Uh, I would say I was warm enough until just a couple of hours ago, just before dawn. Then it got quite cold. But uh, I've had worse. It wasn't too bad. I think it was because I sort of slipped off my sheepskin later on. Which made me a bit cold. This was my first time trying out this sleeping system. Trying a uh, this wool blanket as a tarp. Um, it didn't rain last night, so I didn't really get to test out properly. But when the fire was going strong, it was really retaining the heat well. Um, it became really, really cosy. I was actually almost too warm when the fire was going strong. Probably did help keep me a wee bit warmer um, tonight and this morning as well uh, than if I was just sleeping out in the open. So for those who have seen my previous Highlander overnight, you know I usually go bare-legged with long socks um, or stockings. Uh, but in this trip I'm trying out some linen trousers and wool leg wraps. Now when I bought these, these were described as Viking. But uh, to be honest, lots of cultures all around the world wore very similar things. 
um, in terms of in the Highlands, um, hadn't read exactly people wearing linen trousers, people wore wool trousers, wool trues, um, especially in winter. So I, although I, I like the freedom of going bare-legged sometimes, but I've also done my, my time of experiencing midges and ticks. In terms of the, the leg wraps, I'm still getting used to them. Um, they, they sort of feel much tighter around your thigh, um, which was good when going through deep heather and stuff like that. They also feel a wee bit warmer than, um, than the wool stockings I usually wear. But of course they, they can come um, unraveled um, and because it's the first time I've worn these. I'm not exactly the best practiced at them. So although I haven't read exactly people in the Highlands wearing trousers and, and leg wraps, you know, they're both very simple clothing and the, the material was, was there and uh, very similar clothing was being worn in other cultures nearby. So kind of one of those things. If I was in this situation, I would prefer to wear some trousers underneath the plaid in this, these sort of situations. So I'm going to pack away my bedroll slightly differently than uh, what it was yesterday. Um, imagine if this blanket is my main sleeping blanket. Ideally I want to keep this dry. My plaid, you could see as a sort of bivy bag. It's going to get wet maybe during the day, but it's not going to be the the blanket that's directly on my skin. I then have my sheepskin, which is mainly a, um, a sleeping mat, an insulative layer in between me and the ground. Um, so ideally I want to keep that dry if I can. So beforehand I had this on the outside because the skin is waterproof. Um, but if, say if it had been pouring with rain and if this tarp blanket was soaking wet I wouldn't want to put it right next to my my main sleeping blanket and um, so I'm gonna put this on last so this will be on the outside and the uh, the waterproofness of the skin will hopefully keep my inner sleeping blanket dry Right. It's supposed to move. So thanks so much for watching folks. Hope you enjoyed it. Huge thanks to all my patrons and supporters. You guys really do make these videos possible and I can't tell you how much I appreciate the support. Uh, find all links to ways to support the channel and my social media in the description below and I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Cheers folks. Have a good day.